Hello, class. Hello. Hello, are you getting me? Dumbia, Fatu, Janko, Jojo? Yes. Okay. We agreed quarter past five, and it's quarter past five. I'm going to start. Okay, so if they don't come in, well, it's up to them. We agree. We're going to start. Okay, so um, like I said, we're going to look at the shutdown or discontinuance decision making. Okay, so what does it mean uh, to shut down or to discontinue uh, an operation? Okay, so if, for example, you are operating uh, a business that has got about four to five product lines, four to five different products, okay? Uh, if you see to it that one or two of those product lines are not profitable, they are not doing well at all, so uh, you must look at those products, you must do your analysis, and then see, um, do I shut down these two or three product lines? That means, do I discontinue them? Do I stop producing them? Or do I continue uh, producing them? So how do you go ahead with that? You take a decision based on your calculations. And the way the calculations goes is, you calculate what happens if a shutdown is uh, if a shutdown is made, for example, if you shut down a particular product line, what are going to be the effects? Number one, of course, you are going to lose some sales. The sales of the products you cannot get it again. There's a saying that says you can never eat your cake and have it. <laughs> so if you shut it down, you'll not get the sales attributable to that product. Number two, any cost, any relevant cost attributable to that product will also be saved. So you look at what you're going to lose versus what you're going to gain and you compare, okay? And if the overall impact on the organization is negative, then you don't shut down, but you continue to operate, okay? So that's the way we look at a shutdown decision making. Okay, so a shutdown, it could be, uh, uh, you could shut down an operation, you could shut down a segment, you could shut down a subsidiary or a product or a service department. So it could be anything, okay? So the focus of the question is the impact of the shutdown on cost and revenue base of the company, okay? So what is the effect in terms of cost and in terms of revenue on the organization. Okay. So naturally, like I said, if you shut down, you will certainly forego some revenue okay, that are attributable to uh, that particular product or segment. But at the same time, the avoidable costs, which will include variable costs and specific costs, of course, will be saved when you shut down. Okay, But general fixed costs it won't have any effect on this because whether you shut down or not, you will still have to incur those fixed costs. The only time you may not incur those fixed costs is when you close a whole business. And in fact, even if you close a whole business, sometimes you can still be paying your rent. You can shut down your whole business completely. But because you signed a rent agreement with a landlord for five years, let's say you've operated up to end of four years, you still have one year to pay it because that is the agreement, okay? That's the agreement. So it's really, really important to take note of that, okay? So let's do an example called Jones Limited. So can you screenshot this uh, example? Then we go, uh, we go to our spreadsheet, we got our Google Sheet to answer it. Can you screenshot this example so we can go to our Google Sheet to um, answer it. So in a shutdown decision, that's exactly 
what you do, just like we mentioned, you look at the operation that you are sorting down, you look at its financial implication. Um, if I shut down, I'm going to lose revenue, of course, you cannot get revenue again for that uh, particular product or segment. And of course, you are going to save a relevant cost. That's the variable cost or any specific fixed cost will be saved. So you consider those and then its effect on the organization, then based on that, you take your decision. Okay? So take a, take a screenshot of um, uh, Jones Limited, then let's go and look at it. Let's go and work it out. Jones Limited. Okay, are we together? Can we proceed? Can I proceed to the spreadsheet now? Okay. Right. Come here. Right. So let's choose that. Okay, so can you see my can you see my worksheet? Can you see my worksheet? Yes, yeah. yes, 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 sir. Okay, good. So we are going to create uh, another new worksheet. So we're going to call it uh, example four. Just call it EG four. So we're going to call it example four. Okay, so I'll read out example four for you. It reads, Jones Limited operates three divisions within a larger company. The CEO has been shown the latest profit statement and is concerned that division C is losing money. You are required to advise her whether or not to close down division C. Okay, as you can see the finances, uh, we have the sale, the variable cost, the fixed cost, we have the profit or loss. When you look at um, product A, it's making a profit of um, 20,000 uh, pounds, whilst product B is also making a profit of 10,000 pounds. But when you look at product C, it's making a loss of 10,000. How do you know that? The numbers in bracket means they are negative in finance. Okay, so you are given uh, some additional information. It says, you are also informed that 40% of the fixed cost is product specific. Okay, the fixed cost, as you can see here, 20, 20, 20, 40% of it is related to each of the products. So it's product specific. The remainder being allocated arbitrarily to divisions from head office. So the 60% is a general fixed cost which have been uh, uh, apportioned or attributable, uh, attributable uh, uh, which have been shared to, you know, um, to the products from head office. So that, the 60% is a soft one, okay? So required, should division C be shut down? Okay, should division C be shut down? So the same thing, what we do is uh, we look at the effects of division C when we have to shut it down. What will be the implication on sales if we shut it down? What will be the implication on the variable cost if we shut it down? And then the other cost also. Then based on that, overall we can see whether it will have a positive or negative effect on the organization that's on Jones Limited if Division C is shut down. If it is a negative effect on Jones Limited, then that means we should not. But if it is a positive effect, then that means we should shut down Division C. Okay? So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, the heading will be 
Jones Limited. So I just click on B2. I say Jones Limited. Jones Limited. So I'll call it a uh, make or buy. Sorry, this is not a make or buy. I shut down decision statement. S H U P down decision statement. So you should shut down decision statement. Okay, are we following? Are we together? Yeah. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So now we're going to look at our numbers, but before we look at our numbers, let's just make a statement just to say that if division C is shut down as per the CEO's concern, if the CEO is saying the following would be the financial impact on the company. The financial impact on the company. Okay. So before we do our computation, let's just do that statement. So I'm going to type that if if division C, yeah, I just sort in it. If if C is shut down. If the C is shut down as per as per the CEO as per the CEO's concern as per the CEO's concerns following would the following would be the financial impact the following would be the financial impact on the company take note on the company on the Company C O M P A N Y. So let's just wrap this between these two columns. So to wrap between two columns, so you just click on the area you want to wrap, and then you want to merge and center. Okay, so I just click on those two, then I go to merge cells, then I go to format, then I'd say text wrapping, I just wrap. Okay, so you see it has been nicely wrapped between those two columns. Okay, so that's the way we merge and center and wrap text over the prescribed columns. Okay, right. So now you direct me. What are going to be the financial implications? If we shut down Division C, what is going to happen to the sales of Division C? It's going to be a negative sales. Okay, so we're going to lose it. So there will be loss of sales from Crozo. Loss of sales due to Crozo. Okay. And how much would that be? 40. 40,000. Will be 40,000. Okay. So what else? What else should we look at? Fixed cost. Fixed cost. Variable cost. Okay, you might say variable cost. Don't worry, you are saying fixed cost. If we shut down this and see, are we going to say fixed cost? If you shut down the division C, we will still incur fixed cost. Okay, everything. Are we going to incur all the fixed costs? Still? Yes. Hey, look at the statement. Look at the last sentence. No, we won't say fixed cost. Huh? If forty percent. The question is saying, that, okay, so what's going to happen to the 40%? Huh? 
Yema, what's going to happen to the 40%? We are going to save the forty percent. We are going to save it. Why? Uh, the question says the forty percent of the fixed cost is product specific. Okay, product specific. That means it lives and dies with the product. If they say it's product specific, that means it's going to be part of the product. If the product exists. It's going to be in court. If the product does not exist, it's not going to be in, in court. Okay? Yeah. Good. All right. So that will be. But before we go to the fixed cost, let's follow our procedure. Uh, let's deal with the variable elements first, isn't it? Are they saying, are you with us? Are they saying? Yes, I. Yes, Mr. Fofana. Are you following? I'm following. Okay, excellent. Okay, good. Yeah. So, right. So I'm going to format the um, the column so that we can have a thousand separator, but um, zero DP. So I just use. Uh, I'm sorry. I go to format number 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 formatting with two DP. Then I go reduce decimal place once reduce so that I have zero DP but with a thousand separate. This is what I want. Okay, so uh, before we come to the fixed cost savings, what other costs are we going to save? The variable cost. Okay, so we're going to have savings in BC. This first one, loss of sales due to close -over. The way the 40,000 is written, is that correct? I think we put it in bracket. No, it should be negative. It should be negative. Okay. I think it was huh? in bracket. Yes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's the same. Now, now the, putting it in bracket, the uh, it will depend on the formatting. So when you go format, if you do the look at look at the. Uh, the financial number formatting and the accounting number formatting will we'll put the number in the brackets. By by default, this is what we use in, in accounting. So I choose the financial number formatting so that the number is in brackets. But like I said, I don't want 2DP, so I remove the two decimal places. Okay. So loss of sale due to closure is negative 4,000. So what about savings in variable cost? Is that a positive or a negative? So that is a positive it's, a, it's a positive. It's a positive because it's like once you make savings, it's like an inflow sort of, yeah? And how much is that? 30. 30,000. 30,000. 30, Good. And the next, so when we consider sales and variable costs, we have to, what, what do we come up with? Our contribution is in it. So is this fall in contribution or uh, 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 how to call it an increase in contribution? It's a decrease in contribution. Is it a decrease? It's a decrease in contribution. Okay, because we have savings of thirty thousand and we have loss of forty thousand, so we have a decrease in contribution. Decrease in. decrease in contribution okay so this one we can add them straight so to add them straight we can use an uh, uh how to call it uh auto sum function so we can just come here just click where you want the answer to come and then you come to click functions here you click the sigma and then choose the first one which is sum and it's gonna give you the function and bracket open bracket closest you need to go and indicate the area that you want to sum and enter. So see, automatically it has given you a uh, negative 10 as decrease in contribution. Okay. So what else? What else do we go for? Do we have any other cost that's going to be saved? The fixed cost. Which fixed cost? Uh, uh, the 40% fixed cost. Which and is what, how, do you, how do you call that? Cost, cost specific. Okay, so you call it specific fixed cost. So savings, 
tables in specific FC. Okay, savings in specific FC. Okay, and we can calculate it in here. We don't have to put any work in there. So what's the total fixed cost? It's 20. The total fixed cost is 20. So uh, this is going to be 40% of 20. So we can do it, we can do it here. So we say equals 20, one, two, three, multiply by 40% is the same as 0.4, yeah? So equals 20,000 multiplied by 0.4. So that gives you 8,000, as you can see here. Okay. So the specific fixed cost is 8,000. Okay. So now, when we consider the fixed cost, now, what, do we, what, what, will, be the, what will be the final number? Where after putting fixed cost into consideration, you arrive at either a profit or loss, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now, is this going to be uh, a fall in the company's profit, or will it be an increase in the profit? You have a negative contribution of 10,000, but then you have cost savings of uh, 8,000. So what's going to happen? It was having a loss of 10,000. Mm -hmm. And now when you subtract this, we are going Save to subtract the savings. Are we not going to subtract the... Uh, of course, of course, you are to reduce the savings, to reduce the, the, uh, uh, the, the loss, loss in contribution. Yes. Okay. So if we do that, what do we get? Is it going to be an increase in profit or a decrease in profit? I think it's going to be an... An increase in loss. Loss. An increase in loss. Let's let's subtract and see. Do you say increase in loss or <laughs> you can either say loss, but you can say increase. So is it an increase in profit or a decrease in profit? A decrease in profit. A decrease in profit. Because we have a decrease in contribution of ten thousand. And we have a cost savings of 8,000. So still, the cost savings is not adequate enough to consume the negative contribution, isn't it? So we're going to have a fall in company's profit. We're going to have a fall in company's profit. So we say equals this plus that. So that gives us still a negative of 2,000. So my question is, uh, we, start, we had a loss of 10,000. And when we did our competition, we ended up with a negative of 2,000. Should division C, if you, if you have to advise Jones Limited, what would be your advice? Are you going to advise them to shut down Division C or to maintain it? I think they should shut down. Uh, they should not shut down. <laughs> <laughs> no, they should shut down. <laughs> you have to say no. one thing. No? Wait, let me think. Uh -huh. no, yes. I think they should shut down. You think they should shut down? Yes. Why should they shut down? Uh, because the, 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 uh, they have a loss profit of 10,000. Now, have a loss? Uh, the, the, the question, in the question, mm -hmm. in, in the question, D, D is 10,000 loss mm -hmm. profit. And then after they, they it's, it's, it's increased to 2,000. Okay. That means that mm -hmm. they are getting down. Fana. Yes. I think it's a. The loss is reducing, yeah. They should shut they should shut down. They should shut down. They should yeah, shut down. Because yeah. if they continue with the product, they will incur higher loss compared to when they shut down. Okay. So you are saying that they should shut down. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Oh. Fowler, let me try. Okay, Omar. 
and my tech is they should not shut down. Okay, you are saying they should not shut down. Why? Uh, because the reason is like uh, what they have lost from their sales, it is more than uh, the relevant component of the cost. Okay, what they have lost in their sales is more than cost. The, the cost saving. Yeah. That's why I, sorry, let me just put my phone and silence. Okay, sorry, Omar, can you come again, Omar? So you are saying that you are saying that they should not shut down. Yes. Okay, why? Why they should not shut down? The reason is like uh, what they have lost, like uh, uh, at this moment, they might be incurring loss, but in the future, they may uh, gain some profit. Okay. So you are saying that they should not shut down Division C? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, and you say what's your reason? The reason is what they have lost uh, in their sales. Mm -hmm. It's more than their cost saving. It's more than their cost saving, okay. Okay, who else says something else? Yima and others says they should shut down Division C because they're still making loss. But uh, uh, how to call it? Um, uh, Omar is saying that they should not shut down because the cost savings are still less than the revenue they are going to lose. So who else has got something else? So they should shut down because there is no going concern in the business. There is going concern. There is no going concern. There is no going concern. How do you know? Have you been given any information to say that there is no going concern? Yes, because the loss is increasing. So, and then is the loss it's increasing? It's probably that it's gonna. You have to get, you have to get. The loss is not increasing. The loss no, is, the loss is not increasing. It is reducing. No, in fact, from ten thousand. No, the loss is in fact not reducing or increasing. The loss is ten thousand, and it's still ten thousand. This calculation we are doing is the effect on Jones Limited if we should shut down. So the loss is 10,000. That one is not reducing, it's not increasing. But what we have calculated is what will be the effect on Jones Limited if we should shut down? You understand? So our decision, like I said, when we were doing the, when we were looking at the PowerPoint, should be based on the effects of the closer on the organization itself. So the effect of closing division C, product C, on Jones Limited overall. <laughs> this tends to confuse a lot of students. But anyway. Okay. Um, um, Mr. Yeah. Fofana. Yes, ma'am. Is it going to be the overall? We are going to make our decision based on the overall performance of the exactly. company, the overall not, not on division C only. Yes. So it's like if we shut down division C, what will be the effect on the overall performance of Jones Limited? Uh, That's what okay. we hey, Mr. Fofana. Yes, Umar. My take is like when they shut down, mm -hmm. and they are going to lose a profit of two thousand. Okay, they are uh, going means to that, means okay. that like uh, you know sometimes uh, at the current at the current period mm -hmm. they may be making loss because of the fixed cost, mm -hmm. but in the future they may start gaining some profit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I, I think uh, 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 how to call it Omar. Uh, I think this is fine. Um, what you said is. Um, it's okay. Let it not be. You know, there is a there is a there is a proverb in in Malinka. We say Yamato la karijo. You know, they were uh, everybody was looking for the moon. I don't know where it was Ramadan time. You know, and then uh, there is uh, one guy. He's a crazy guy who lives in the village. So everybody was looking, struggling to find the moon. The, the crazy guy came, the mad guy came and said, oh, that's the moon. And everybody thought that the moon is, uh, of course, and then that's the moon. So 
They were all happy. They were all happy. They say, oh, my God, this is good. Yeah, Kare Kendarala, 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 Kendarala. And then next, next week, he said, here is another one. Here is another one. And then they were just disappointed. <laughs> so, Omar, you've said it rightly. Please don't say it otherwise again. <laughs> <laughs> you understand my story you know once you sign a moon you know everybody was happy because the guy they say is uh, getting better but he's saying another moon another moon <laughs> so, uh, uh, Mr. he is not well on the moon is still Mr. not Fofan. well <laughs> yes no no what you said right uh, what you said is right um it's a simple analogy i have uh, made it clear if you shut down an operation, before you take any decision, you have to consider what is the effect on the organization as a whole. What will be the effect? If we shut down Division C, we are going to lose all the sales attributable to Division C, 40,000. There is no two ways to that. Okay, fine. We're going to have a cost savings on the variable cost of 30,000, and we're going to have a cost savings on the fixed cost of 8,000. But just like Umar rightly said, the cost savings are only going to be 38,000, okay? And uh, the, the, the loss of, uh, of sales is going to be 40,000. Are you going to be ready to lose, uh, 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 how to call it, uh, to lose 40,000 only to gain 38,000? No. No. No, naturally. So because of that, they cannot allow Division C to go. Because if Division C goes overall, they are going to lose 2,000. Okay? If Division C goes, they are going to make a cost savings of only 38, but then they will lose 40,000 revenue. What they are going to lose will be more. I hope you understood it now. Yeah. Okay, good. So I'll uh, just uh, type the decision. So decision will read, Division C should not be closed down since it will result in an overall fall in the company's profit of 2000. Okay, so that's exactly what is going to happen. Okay, so I'll say decision. Okay. Uh, so we'll say uh, division C should not be closed down. Division C, division C should not be closed down. Division C should not be closed down since. Since it will result in since it will result in an overall overall fall in the in the company's in the company's profit of 2,000 pounds. Clear? Okay. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, so let's do example four, sorry, example five as an assignment, okay? It's just almost very similar to this one. So EG5 to okay. so you do um, example five as assignment. So example, so it's going to be actually example two and five. So you must do them on your uh, individual Google Sheet, okay? 
So I'll make this bold so people can see easily. Okay. So right, so let's do one more question and I will call it a day. Let's do one more question, which is an exam type question. Okay, let's do an exam type question. Then tomorrow when we come, we can start with uh, limiting factor decisions, yeah? So, Mr. Fofan. Yes, sir. Uh, the example five, what they ask is uh, the reason C, but on top, they give the reason A, B, C. I think this should represent why. Well. Uh, yeah, division A, B, and C. When you look at it, uh, A and B doesn't have any problem. So it's only C that has got, uh, that is a loss-making uh, division. No, I think it's B. But in this case, what they ask is the reason why. And the oh, reason okay. It, 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 was, it was a typo. Yeah, you are. It was a typo. Yeah, it should be division B. Yeah, it was a typo. Yeah, yeah I remember. Yeah, you're right. It should be division B, not Y. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it was a typo. Okay. So like I said, example five, Phantom Limited, you can do it as your assignment. Okay, that's the last one. Oh, I was saying, uh, right. Limited factor, of course. Right. That's a short one. Okay, so I think what we can do is um, um let's stop here. Well, that's the that's the last question before limiting factor decision. So tomorrow we can do limiting factor decision, and we do break even analysis. And after break even analysis, we're going to look at relevant cost. Relevant cost is a simple one, and then accepting or rejecting orders. I think we'll try to complete tomorrow, inshallah. Let's try to complete. But for now, um, I think we can we can stop here. Okay. So now, All right. Yeah. So thank you. Good time. Yes, so please tell the orders that they must join. You see, I have only 12 here. And, uh, you know, I'm, even if I have two, I'm going to proceed. So I think they need to know that. Yes, Umar, you wanted to say something? Yes. I was somehow late uh, because I was taking lunch. <laughs> you are I taking lunch. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, do you plan to finish the whole syllabus like within uh, those days you have, you have given? Uh, yes. In the group of yes, yes. That's what we want to do because uh, according to some students, uh, the credit that they are offering mm. is, going to, is going to end by 31st January. Yeah, I think that will be helpful so that later you can give us some time so that we can revise for the exam. Sure. Yeah, yes, yes. I can give you two weeks or three weeks in the month before exams. But what I don't want is, uh, I don't want, um, you know, us conducting class, you know, uh, when your credits are finished. And then that means you have to dip your, dip your hand into your pocket to, to, to I, I don't want that to us. So that's why I'm going to uh, do my best to ensure that um, we complete the syllabus. Before. Yeah, I, think, I think that will be very helpful for those who uh, might not have Wi-Fi or things like that. Yes, that's true. Good. Thank you. Okay, so have a great evening. And uh, we meet tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Tomorrow, Saturday at 12 o'clock, inshallah, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, tomorrow, inshallah, okay. Thank you very much. No problem, thank you. See you tomorrow, inshallah.